Good morning everyone, it's Kyle with Jones Landscape Retractor. So today we're at our client's house. We're gonna do some flower bed reshaping and re-edging. Uh, we're gonna put in some new flower beds and do a river rock install. And then we have the, the city water box here, so that runs from here into the house there. We're gonna reshape these beds, extend these beds out, and then we don't want any hard lines, so we're gonna reshape this extend the flower beds a little bit more all the way over to here okay we've got our beds marked got the rough outline done so now we're going to go through and cut these out I really like to use the half moon edger for cutting in new flower beds. It works well for redefining existing beds, but it uh, leaves a really nice fine line uh, when you cut that new bed in. I also like to go through and cut cross sections in the existing grass to make it easier to remove. For bigger flower beds, you can use a sod cutter, but for projects like this, that's relatively small, it's, it's just fine to use a shovel. Another thing to keep in mind when you're bidding these types of projects is make sure you have a, a place to dispose of this material because most landscape recycling places will not accept uh, material in their comp uh, compost areas that has dirt in it. Now that I have the basic shape of the flower beds cut out, I'm going to go through and pull out any remaining debris prior to installing the weed fabric. As you can see on the tarp there, that is the existing mulch that was in these flower beds. That will also be an added cost for disposal. I always leave it up to the client if they want weed fabric installed or not. Some people don't like it, some people do like it. So I always give, give the option to them uh, prior to making that decision. I always like to stake everything down before I cut anything. So once I have the stakes running along the both edges, then I'll go back through and cut out the shape of the bed. We will also be installing new permanent concrete edging as well as new sod in this yard. However, the client did not want to do that until next year. They wanted to get the flower beds done first, so we went ahead and did that. Now that I have the weed fabric installed, we're ready to start installing the rock. I just want to do a quick walkthrough to make sure there's no fabric sticking out.
The total time to completion for this project was 10 hours. That is including delivery of all landscaping materials as well as disposal of all debris removed from the property. And that's it for this video. Appreciate you guys watching. Stay tuned for the next video.